hard candy in your grandmother's. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that me? Was that your go? Like, hey, you're online. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Up. Speed. <laughs> Sticks. Hello. Welcome to oh. the last day of KubeCon. No. He's no. kidding. Am I yelling? You're not even. No, you're not, not even online. Let's go but I like how you were like ready to jump in. That was pretty awesome. I got bamboozled again. You got yes. bamboozled. I mean, <laughs> it's you know what? It's the week for it. I am. We need to come up with like. A <laughs> we, wait, Damn. What? So we are live. Bill 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 live. Off screen, screwing with me. I'm gonna still say it. We need to come up one with like last a time. In his defense, it was funny. But welcome to the last day of KubeCon. Yeah. This is Cloud Native TV. We have guests. Before we start talking, I have to remind everyone that as this is an official CNCF live stream, especially today because we are physically at KubeCon, that means the CNCF code of conduct applies. So That's be right. nice and please don't be a creep. Thank you. That includes you, Twitch chat. Uh, be kind to each other all the time. Yeah, yeah. be yeah. kind to each other. There you go. I've got guests. I've got my co-host, Maddie Stratton. What up? We're also blessed by the presence of Duffy, who you all probably know, and uh, the other me. Hello, I'm Kat Cosgrove. <laughs> Welcome to Cat Native TV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, I, I screwed up the beginning. I'm Ian Coldwater. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start it all over. Okay, log off of Twitch. Okay, refresh yeah. your browser. Can you We're just start like, over. Can we kill no, the stream no. and restart? <laughs> yep, yep. That's right. Yeah, That's just it. Yep. unplug it and then leave it unplugged for 30 seconds <laughs> yeah. and then plug it back in again. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's From the last the day of KubeCon. Right? It is the last day of KubeCon. How's everybody feeling? I feel I feel like we kind of did the unplug it, plug it back in thing right here at this conference. I, I really feel like it was a big reset for a lot of people, you know? Yeah. And like I was really, I've been talking to a few people about how all of it went. You know, a lot of people are asking, like, you know, what did you think of the conference and that kind of stuff. And I think one of the big takeaways for me were, was the, uh, you know, a friend. It's their first conference. This this was their first KubeCon. They've been to many other mm -hmm. conferences. This was their first KubeCon, and I was saying that this is probably like an amazing first in-person KubeCon because everybody has time yeah. to spend with each other. You know, like we're actually. We're, we're not so busy that, like, we have to settle for, hello, and then, like, wander off, you know? like so That's all the people did to me, though, is just, maybe, should I take that personal? You should, you should take <laughs> that like, personal. Tell me, you were like, yeah. you know, there's t plenty of time to spend with lots of people, but yet all the people did to Maddie was, hi. Oh, oh I, dang. I, I, I gotta, Yo, I think people I don't like you, Maddie. Maybe not. Maybe you're not cool, dude. Maybe, maybe someone kind, should dress up Kat. as me. You're right. I apologize. <laughs> I'm Ian. Oh, yes, Kat. Be kind, Ian. We, weirdly, that was pretty kind for you. That yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> Goodness. What a Gloves burn. off. God. So what did we all, I mean, like, what was something that was exciting to y'all, like, about all of this? I kind of enjoyed how few people there were. I mean, how many, how many attendees are here in person? A couple thousand? Right? 3,500. 3,500, I thought. 3,500? And like 3,400 of which were vendors. Vendors, yeah. <laughs> While it would have been nice also to have like the pre pandemic KubeCon back, right? Like with a bajillion people here and it's like go, go, go the whole time. I could not have handled that. And also, I, I have really enjoyed being able to like move and walk around yeah. and not wait in super long lines for everything and uh, being able to get a seat at literally any talk I want to go to has also been been pretty rad yeah for me um, it seems it does seem like some vendors pulled out all the stops with uh, swag though it was a, it was a big year for plushies mm -hmm. stuffies sure. were a thing yeah, yeah they were definitely we're having a stuffy moment we almost had a people. stuffy fight at the booth but then we forgot I mean who doesn't like plushies though yeah I don't know. The the Argo C D one is so cute. Did you see the cluster API one? Oh my god, no. Adorable. What is it? So it's those three turtles on the top for turtles all the way down and then they have Wait, little Kate's had... shells. Yeah, at the CNC F store. They were so cute. Oh my god, that's precious. I hate that I missed that. We were supposed to have plushies, but there were supply chain problems. Oh my god. But there would have been a plumy puss. Is that what everybody's plushie? talking about with supply chain? All that is. Yeah, they're talking about the yeah, fact yeah. that we couldn't get the plumy yeah, puss stuff. It's not a security booth. thing. It's a stuffy it's a, thing. It's a plushie. Stuffy bill of materials. Yeah, stuffy yeah. bill of materials. Yeah. 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 Come on. So the, the, the <laughs> keynote from the Fed this morning was definitely talking about stuffies. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. 
I was actually also super fortunate to present with Ian at two to or at one talk, and it was a recorded talk, and that was kind of a weird experience because I found myself yeah. sitting next to people I was talking about in the talk, and I was like, you know, uh, it's like, you know, kind of uh, kind of bizarre. Kind of time is not linear nobody. with the people who we were giving a talk with, <laughs> right? Yeah. Time has folded on me a little bit there. <laughs> and then right before that, it was also a great talk with you and Brad, and that was tremendous. Thank you. I had a great time. I got to give three talks in one day on Wednesday, which was a bunch of talks, counting the pre-recorded ones. Right, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was good. Like, yeah. super good chill KubeCon experience. I did not get any talks accepted, which I am uh, super fine with, because I've had enough to do without giving a talk this year, and I don't think I could have dealt with it. However, I was in a talk as I'm a prop. I want to be salty that I didn't get any talks accepted, but I also didn't submit any talks. So that'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, so so that's my learning. That's a continuous improvement. Did you get to see any talks, Maddie? I I really didn't. You just just live in that booth hustle? I wasn't. I was doing others. I was doing podcasts and just sort of hallway tracking a little bit. But uh, it was it was okay. Like I was bummed that I didn't didn't go see talks, but it was also a little bit like it's like sort of easing back into the yeah. the whole thing yeah. and there was a lot a lot of uh a lot of good conversations having happening and i figured you went and saw all the talks i went to a bunch of talks so actually let's be fair like the reason i didn't really go see any talks is because cat couldn't be bothered to be in our booth and i had to be there so it's true yeah. i did cat? i did shirk booth duty yeah so it's okay though it's cool it's good I'm i was busy salty. being room moderator okay yeah okay. exactly <laughs> oh right, your cat. I'm gonna yeah, keep, wait. Keep, yeah. yeah. See, and we never even did that. That was, a little, <laughs> that, that was that. like a yeah. missed opportunity, though. But we, yeah. but we always do that. So I gave three talks in a day, and Cat was moderating <laughs> all, of the all of the talks. I like how you were trying to remember like what Cat moderated. It's it's a struggle. We're actually we're we're really <laughs> losing our grip on this joke <laughs> <laughs> here. I mean, the reality is you probably at this point have a hard enough time remembering what you actually did yourself. Yeah, I Much know. less yeah. remembering who you're pretending to be and what they did. To so. be fair, everybody else is also losing their grip <laughs> yeah. on this joke oh, at yeah. this point, yeah. so it all kind of works out. Yeah, yeah especially since now, like, Nara is involved, and it's just like, it, it's, it's wigs all the way down. All the way down. It's wigs all the way down. Uh, did you see anybody else in a purple wig? Sasha was running around yeah. for Sasha. a wig for a while. Sasha, we see any others? Like a Sasha? lot of people who said that they would have brought theirs, but they didn't. So. I'm impressed by the number of people who seem to indicate that they own the wig. There are a lot of people who own that wig. I wonder. <laughs> I I would be very curious as to their like sales analytics. Yeah. Like, and yeah, if yeah, like yeah. they were under, you know, if they knew why that particular color yeah. like skyrocketed yeah. sometime in December. I mean, we could maybe look at the Google Analytics for like that specific Amazon page and see if we can make like an estimated guess at our impact on the sales numbers for this Has program. anybody looked at like Google's zeitgeist for like Google Ian Coldwater wig? Oh, you know, no. for like <laughs> so everybody's favorite keynotes or talks that they saw. Ooh. I really liked what Paris and Christoph had to say. That was really good. I think that put those I think that put I think I was that was probably also my favorite S bomb talk, you know. It was also my. F- I was going to say that one because of Paris's yes, S bomb. Exactly. S bomb. Yeah, and yeah. That was, that was that, yeah. I, I think that really. Both my favorite keynote and my favorite S bomb talk. Yeah. Of, of that the was week. a really great one. I also, you know, I mean, shout out to uh, to Stephen Augustus for just making it all look so good every time. You know, like he was confident and awesome and. Yeah, really you know what his really secret is for that? And, yeah. His secret is Alexander McQueen. My man has been fully decked out in Alexander McQueen <laughs> for like three days. To be fair, he was wearing Combs de Garcons today too. True, true. He's he's mixing and matching, but uh, we are a fashionable bunch. Sig fashion. This is Sig fashion oh. in general, but. Uh, Any keynotes that, that drew your attention? Other than the the <laughs> Paris. <laughs> other than what one? you just said. <laughs> <laughs> the Paris one is it for me. Uh, like it's, that's that's hard it for me. Uh, Steven just getting up on stage and rambling about burnout was also pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Um, it felt appropriate for a discussion on burnout for it to get kind of rambly because we are all tired. Yeah. Like, 
you you came real close to using your one f bomb right there. I didn't did. You? I did. I, I did. <laughs> this is this is a PG thirteen stream. We get one f bomb, and we're going to be tactical about it. Yeah. Wait, do we get to share the f bomb? No, there's or do one. We one f bomb per person. No, no, one, one, one for the total whole show. F bomb. Okay. So whoever whoever finds the most impactful moment to use an f bomb gets it. <laughs> Bill's like, when did I agree to this? <laughs> Were there, were there, you know, um, <laughs> Our what? producer is giving us the other eyeballs other from like, off side. Like, this um, is actually not true. Paris and Kristoff's keynote was amazing. A non-keynote talk that I was really excited about today was uh, Tabby Sable's talk in the maintainer track That's right. about the PSP talk. deprecation and the road to pod security admission. Did that talk with Tim Allclair virtually. That talk was amazing because not only did they give the technical details about um, the new pod security admission um, that's coming to replace pod security policy, but it was also a really good talk about leadership and technical decision making and what the road to making a decision like that looks like. And I think it generally had like really good like leadership, technical, and life advice in a way that like I thought was really great and is definitely worth watching. I, I actually content. was watching the live tweeting of that talk and I would raise that that was one of the talks I was I was paying attention to through through live tweeting and I thought you're right. Like that was again a live tweet of a talk is not the same as watching the talk, but uh, it was what I was was getting to. So that that's that was sort of my final memory of talks I didn't see at QCon. Yeah, the second episode of uh, Ellen and Tabby's Netflix series oh my about gosh. security uh, it was also entertaining as yeah. always. Um, the amount of work that goes into making that talk happen is. Yeah incredible outrageous it wouldn't work in an in-person conference so yep. that's a, a huge we, upside to should virtual we, should we me. see if tabby wants to come and talk about it if we can get is tabby right there yeah. hey tabby so. want to come talk about your talk yeah come on up i'm gonna i'm gonna take my headset off and tabby can come see you. it was good to see you all one thing i will say that before i go is that i do think that one of my big takeaways from this kubecon is that i'm really grateful that everybody has been here either virtually or in person and it's just really great to have you all here, you know, it's like it uh, it's, it's been the virtual side's been blowing up. The physical side's been really great, and thank you all for such an incredible KubeCon. And it's been do, so do good to see everybody. Yeah. It has been. Jeez. Thank you, Duffy. It is. Hi. Thank you for having me. Welcome, welcome to the Friday uh, evening wrap-up in the quiet storm here at uh, CNCF. It's a little more luxurious than the usual. We all join each other from our homes. It's right. kind of nice. It is. Yeah. We got. You don't. You don't sit in a nice. Uh, you know, pseudo suede uh, easy chair at home. It's like micro suede. I mean, micro fiber. Micro fiber. That's micro fiber. But the chair in my house has my cat on my lap, <laughs> so it kind of evens out. That's, that's true. That's, that's true. That's why I don't like. My employer has an office in Seattle. Um, I don't go to it. I have never been to it. I do not intend to ever do that. Because no cat. Because there's not you a can't cat take your there. cat. Yeah, I can't take my cat on the bus. So <laughs> like, I mean, I can take your cat occasionally. You do. Oh you yeah, do. that's true. Yeah, we share it. We share. We a share cat. a cat. Yeah, uh, we can't tell the difference between the cat, so we there's assume it's one cat, and they've never been seen on camera at the same time. Yeah. One of them jumps off camera, the other one will jump onto the other ones. Yeah. So uh, I, I think it's just one cat that's milking us both for it's extra like a, snacks. Like a cat uncertainty principle thing? Yeah. Well, you know, cats don't comply with the laws of the mortal world. Fair. It's like, yeah. absolutely not. It wouldn't surprise they me. They do as they wish and get away with it. They do. I yeah. mean, it's their apartment. I'm just... I, <laughs> you, you just, just live in it? it? Yeah, <laughs> I just live in it. I'm paying the rent for them, so... <laughs> they deserve no less. They're they're perfect <coughs> angels, okay. Even when they make me up, wake me up in the middle of the night, biting my face, because they want attention, because I'm asleep. Thank you for joining the CNCF uh, Twitch stream for the hard hitting Kubernetes content about cats. <laughs> about cats. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's really why y'all tuned in. We know <laughs> it is. Internet loves cats. It's fine. That's a good point. I heard the internet was made of cats. It, it is made of cats. <laughs> it is made of cats. I, I believe that. Sure. Maybe our cat is getting from our respective apartments via the internet. We cat egress? Cat egress, yeah. Do you need a matching cat ingress? Probably. Yeah. I hope so. there's like at least some pre-shared key or something <laughs> yeah. there so yeah. you don't end up with somebody else's cat. Well, 
who knows? We've seen pictures on Twitter of other Me, cats cat that look very similar. So it, it, there could be it. an alarming number of families that are sharing this one cat, and we're all just getting that cat. Old. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Oh. God. oh. Get out. <laughs> We trusted you. We invited you on the <laughs> stage. We gave you a, a headset, and this is what you this is what you give us in return. Can I help you do something that you'd like better? I mean, if you're netcat, do I get reverse shells out of the deal? Because like, okay. Yes, <laughs> and you can upgrade them to TTYs so oh, that yeah. you can use VI. Sounds great. How was your KubeCon though, Tabitha? I mean, I I can't imagine my KubeCon being better. Like. It's like going into the forest of Arden where you never sleep and see people that you love, see people that you have just met, and, and really have a wonderful time. And then by the time the sleep deprivation catches up with you, it's time to go home and then everything evens out. I did take a nap today. Like I, I moderated good, good your, talk choice. <laughs> your last talk and I left immediately and took a nap for an hour and then came back here. That sounds cool. Yeah, that's, that's wisdom. I needed it. What was your favorite talk, though? My favorite talk, it's several of the community-focused keynotes were amazing. Out of the group of them, I would choose, um, I, I would choose the one that Paris The S-bomb talk. The S-bomb the talk, but <laughs> like, um, Luke Hins's, Luke Hins's community focused keynote yeah. about um, about software supply chain was amazing. So um, Stevens Heart Feels, which was fundamentally about about community, mm -hmm. because we can't continue to participate in community if we flame ourselves out of it, was amazing. And um, there was a there was a community focused talk earlier that um, now I'm blanking on who gave it, but that was also. So, sorry about that. No, this is what I, we get look, from my memory. Look, everybody's running on, like... Fumes. Yeah, like, I've, I've got one brain cell rattling around in there, and it's, like, it's doing its best, but... Th thanks for letting me borrow the brain cell today. <laughs> no with problem. The, like, I really needed it for yeah, the talks. We, we do only have one to share amongst the group, and, uh, and you needed it more than I did today. Um, I'm, so, I'm so grateful. So... There, there is one like wildly, unsur wildly surprising thing that I found that I missed about conferences. I missed the crappy conference lunch. <laughs> like, I, I needed that specific kind of like shitty food, and like nothing recreates that. It's not like airline food doesn't do it. I need like a bad sandwich or like a damp burrito. And this is where I admit that I spent so much of the con holed up in my room polishing my talks, but like, did that happen at this KubeCon? No. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Guess what I found? What? what did you find? I found a Caslin Fields and she's amazing! Yes! Oh, oh my god! My headset! Yeah. <laughs> Caslin, come hang out! Love y'all! Bye! <laughs> Bye! Well, that was unexpected. It's Kathleen. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. Welcome. welcome. It's Hi. great to see you. <laughs> you didn't think we just you smash thought you were just people be able to walk the by and wave and yeah. not good. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> well, not. I mean, I kind of thought that would happen. But. <laughs> well, that'll teach you. Indeed. What did we learn? <laughs> <laughs> that friends are friends forever. <laughs> <laughs> that Kubernetes is made out of community. That Ooh. cloud native is made out of community. Those I mean, we are the learnings. Borg. So. And software supply chain is about stuffed animals. It is, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah. For context, the, the S and S bomb is stuffy. It's it's stuffed animals. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I just got a stuffed animal of Fippy. Nice. Oh, that's cute. So excited about it. Yeah. This, this How large up, is it? It's like uh, it's like that. Oh, it's life size. Well, do you yeah. have it? It is right over there, yes. I think I you need bring. to get it. Okay. Yeah, you should probably yeah. okay. grab it. Because <laughs> it matters. It does matter. It really matters. This is a visual medium. Yeah, it is a visual. It's not a podcast. It's not a podcast. Oh, and a go gopher. The camera's right there. You oh gosh! I have look how cute these are. I have okay. a purple. Can I unwrap gopher. this? Yes. Okay. Yes. Although it's yes. got a great you... cat toy effect <laughs> right now. You may have the honors of unwrapping the hippie. <laughs> look at that. Beautiful. 
Vanna. <laughs> so we know that we know that the highlight of your KubeCon was getting the stuffy of Fippy, but what would of be course. the second best? I mean, second is definitely the keynote. On the time you gave morning. a keynote, which you is know. not yeah. a big deal at all. It's, it's totally. second. Yeah. It's, it's second to the stuffy. Second to the it's stuff. not, it's not a big you deal. It, You're very cool. I really, I really enjoyed your keynote. I feel like those sorts, like, are a challenge to really be engaging with, and I thought that you did a great job with that. Like, I, I really enjoyed it. Yay. Well, you're incredible, Aww. and everybody knows it. Aww. Apparently, the adorable drawings didn't hurt any either. Yes, goes a long way. It goes a long way. <laughs> so, how's how's your KubeCon been? We're here at the end of the KubeCon. Yeah. I'm really curious what people have thought about it. I feel like each person I've talked to has had a very different opinion, like a very different experience, which makes a lot of sense. You know, people are different. <laughs> people are different. Everyone has their own experience, but well, and it's such a wild situation. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> It's it's weird. It's been a weird year and a, a half. Bit, a little bit. Two years. Yeah. And it is like kind of uncomfortable being around people <laughs> again. I, I just feel so astoundingly lucky that any number of us were able to to act to yeah. be here together given and some people, given all the circumstances. Some people went through like incredible hoops to be here. You know, like Allison flew to Canada and she stayed in Canada for two weeks. So in order to clear order the. To clear the, yeah, the 14 day requirement to get into the U.S. Because she, she's from the U.K. and you can't fly from the U.K. to the U.S. I want to say something <clears throat> to everybody who wasn't able to come here, yeah. though. Like, I yeah. feel like that. I, I feel so grateful for all the folks who are joining us on the other side of the series of tubes because... Cats. Cats, series the series of cats. Of cats. Yeah, so There because, are tubes filled with cats. Yeah. Because, like, I don't know, just like, it's hard. And, it's hard. And I'm grateful, I'm grateful for everybody who took the time not being able to go and hug their friends to still come and, like, share Cloud Native with us. And some, and, you know, it was probably a little bit bittersweet for some people watching us, like hug our friends, have fun. I know that uh, Ellen is kind of sad about it. Which yeah, is yeah, yeah. Like, I miss them. I, I wish they. I wish they could be here. I'll give you a harder squeeze next time, <laughs> even even bigger, consensually. <laughs> That's the only way we do because it's made out of consent. I, I have, Everything is consent. I have loved not having to shake hands with people. Oh gosh, yeah, like let me bump oh, your yeah. elbow. Yeah, I really please. do like the elbow bumps. Me I too. That nice. can stick around until the end of my days oh, for, for as sure. far as I'm concerned. Do not shake my hand. I don't want to touch your hand. Yeah, for sure. I, I, do, I do like that we abandoned what we did at the very beginning of the panty with where we thought like the foot tap. That was a thing. Oh, the oh I never yeah, saw yeah. the oh, no. foot. So there was there was like two weeks in March. When like we a thought, two player hokey pokey. Yeah. A little bit, a little yeah, bit. So weird. like conferences that like scale and DevOps is New York that were at the beginning of March before everything shut down. When we thought, oh, just wash your hands. We'll get out of this. Right. It was that was the thing. It was it wasn't it was elbow bumps. Tap. It was a foot tap. Yeah. And it was the kind was of thing weird. that if you were me, it meant that you were probably going to fall several times throughout the day. Oh, because of the balance thing. Yeah. yeah, and, Or the lack of yes. balance. Yeah. So th good job on moving on to elbow taps. Yeah, I, I, I'm a fan of the elbow tap. Yeah, yeah, like the tattoo industry has had the elbow tap yeah. thing figured out for like an eternity. Because once you have like washed your hands and your forearms and you have yeah. gloves on, you can't touch anything. Yeah. But if somebody comes by and they want to say hi, it's just an elbow tap. So uh, yeah, that needs to stick around. Yeah, it does. Because really, like I haven't been sick in a year and a half. <laughs> that's fair. And that's been actually really wicked. So... <laughs> I really hope that continues. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just keep wearing masks even yeah. after it's not like a social requirement. But, yeah. Uh, Kaslin, did you have any favorite talks other than your own yeah. absolutely banging <sighs> keynote? <laughs> you know. <laughs> or if you didn't get to any talks. Like I got to quite a few, actually. Uh, and I, I went to a really good one earlier today, uh, which was by Peter O'Neill. I believe that's the right name, <laughs> and because I, I learn these things as I'm live tweeting them, and I have to like that is the such name a over skill, and, and I really, I really admire it. I've tried and just scrubbed out. Kaslin's very good at it. Yeah, <laughs> it's how I take notes on the sessions. That's so, brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> I 
I learned a long time ago that I can share my notes with everyone and it combines a quick tidbit with a picture and that's what I need for my notes, so it's perfect. Um, but the session was about, uh, Peter was a network engineer mm -hmm. and now we're in this new cloud native world. So what does that mean for a network engineer? How does that change your job? There's so much interesting network engineering in cloud native, so but much. I've heard it said that <laughs> you don't need network engineers because the cloud provider takes care of it. But like, it's not true at all. Turns out. <laughs> you do <laughs> need network you engineers. Super do. It's the same, only different. If, if you remember, there was a brief time we had a thing called no ops, and there's a reason it didn't stick around the, the same way. The only no ops no I need are like hex 90. Give me a yeah. bunch of those in front of my shell code that's and I'm fine. happy. That's fine. So he was giving this perspective of, now we're adopting Kubernetes, I'm a network engineer, what networking problems are there in Kubernetes that I oh can gosh, help solve? Oh gosh, there's so much to <laughs> learn so there, much. yeah. Yeah, so it was a great perspective looking at debugging tools and ways to use Kubernetes from network engineer's perspective, and it was fantastic. I'll have to check that one yeah, out I'll have later. Yeah, I'll because networking is uh, basically magic. Agreed to me. <laughs> I, I spend a lot of time okay. helping people get to the root of their really finicky networking problems, and it yes. sounds like A, I could pick something up from this, and then B, I could share it with others. Do yeah. you know your eight times tables? Yeah. Okay, you're probably fine. I'm That's probably fine? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I made it through the fourth grade, <laughs> so. I, you know what, I pulled that grade number just like out of nowhere. I don't know in what grade you learn your times table. <laughs> I think you might be not too far off, although I, I do feel like it's pretty third, close third grade. Third yeah. grade? Yeah. It might be younger than that. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like you're still solidifying them for a few years there. Although I feel like the kid, my kids like learn stuff sooner than we did. I guess it's so as long as I can multiply, I can be a network engineer? By eights. By eights? Factors of eight, though, not, not the eight times tables. I was wrong. Tabitha, is this is this true or is I mean, uh, like, leg? to the extent that what he's saying is true, <laughs> yeah, if you can fact. remember 256 and yes. 128 yes. and 64, like, yeah. I can remember, I know those numbers. Y yeah, if you can remember those numbers, then you've got at least a solid one quarter of 1% of network engineering on yeah. lock. You can probably okay. get your CCNA, you're good. Oh, sick. No problem. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's a new certification. Yes. Oh, yeah. That seems really cool. Yeah. I need to take it. I don't have any certs. Me neither. I, do you want to be my accountability buddy? Yes. Aren't we both ambassadors? Yes. Can I Shouldn't cheer we? both of you on? This will be fabulous. We, we're supposed to do things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I yeah, actually, like funny story here, I have actually taken the Certified Kubernetes Administrator exam before, mm -hmm. and I failed it the first time. Yeah. I've heard that it's, real, I've heard that it's really challenging. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I've known multiple people to fail it the first time, so, yeah. like, yeah, one I wouldn't thing, feel bad about that. One thing about it is just understanding the certification format. I also did a certification for Japanese language, and it was a lot of people suggest cool just take a, the easiest level the first time, no matter what level you're at, so that mm -hmm. you get a Just sense. as a preview of what the testing okay. environment exactly. is like. Exactly. And I feel like there's a lot of that with the CKA as well. Okay. And mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's a lot of learning that you have to do. It's because like optimizing how you deal too. with things to not run out of time, exactly. I've, I've heard, is, is key, right? Exactly, yes. <laughs> Yeah, we should we should do that together. We cause, should because we should absolutely have that be wicked one cool. cert. Like, come <laughs> on, we should do it. On Twitch. We should do believe it. in us. <laughs> believe, believe in us. We are tired. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to take the exam right the second. Though, oh but no, 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 no. <laughs> take the ex take the exam cold right on Friday afternoon of KubeCon. Live on that Twitch. Would be live, live on that live would be on Twitch. I think they'd. I, I, I mean, think they'd have a problem. I think problem they would that. have a problem. You think I should fire it up? Fire, fire it up. up. We should do it right <laughs> now. Grab a laptop. I'm going to fail it. it so hard. <laughs> That'll be yeah. amazing. Let's I see. have one brain cell. We should probably not do that. <laughs> we should probably not. Do yeah, that. you can have the brain cell <laughs> back. Yeah, my talks are done. <laughs> yeah, you can have it for for the uh, cloud native for the associate. CKA. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Cool. But the Cloud Native Associate does sound like a really exciting new certification. It does. That's targeted um, at a broader audience. Yeah. It's meant for m people in more different types of roles with different types of skill sets to display and uh, kind of an expertise, a level of, of knowledge yeah. with Cloud Native technologies and cl the Cloud Native ecosystem. So. Yeah, I think it was a huge gap in the list of certs we had available. So it's, it's a good thing to finally have a cert that kind of feels a little bit more broad, isn't 
so yeah. like hard focused on Kubernetes. And it was mentioned in the keynotes, and if you're interested out there in taking this cert, it's currently doing some beta testing, because it's, it's brand new. Um, so if you want to sign up for the beta testing, I think there was information in the keynote. There was. About how to, how to sign up for that. Yeah, there was information in the keynotes, and I am pretty sure that the CNCF Twitter account tweeted about it. Ooh, yes. Always a good so, spot to find information. Yeah. Then you can just click it. Because then you can just <laughs> click it instead of googling. Yeah, like I'm not. I'm not going to trawl through like the keynote from Monday yeah. or whenever it was to find a link to it. Yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure it's on the CNCF Twitter account. But. I think once it's up on YouTube, that section will probably be its own video. Oh, you know, like with the little. Be easier. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and the videos go up within like two weeks. Yeah. Ish. So. so. Should be done soon, but yeah, maybe we should we should do the cloud native associate first. I like this idea. It's the easiest one. Like this idea. I've actually already signed up to do the beta testing. Okay, so, yeah, I need to so do that. Kaslin is far more committed to this than you. <laughs> more committed to this thing you didn't know you were going to do until two and a half minutes ago. Well, so get on it. I, I apologize. Okay, I've screwed up. I, I've let the entire cloud native You've community let down. down. I've let Fippy down. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I don't, I don't know. Um, it's okay. <laughs> I got you. I. This is this is a shame that I'm gonna have to live with. I'm gonna have to carry it until you have completed the exam. Until I have completed the exam, passing it. And not you will, yes. you will bring honor take, back oh. to your family. <laughs> bring bring <laughs> honor back to my family of my husband and my two yeah. two cats. I mean, real talk though. Like, if actually, if you take it, then you'll be in a lot better place to be able to tell other people what it was like. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, whether it's a good use for what they want to do. What? <laughs> comments and stuff. Oh. 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 Sweet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, comments. Right, yeah, let's, let's yeah. yeah. What do we have? Fippy wants to read. What? If Fippy's reading over your shoulder. Oh, Fippy. Uh, yeah, help me, buddy. Let's see. What's Are there any comments about cool? Fippy? I have CKD and CKA going for CKS now. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah do it. Rock it. <laughs> Get it. Oh, yeah. So now we can see the Twitch chat. So, uh, yeah. So, so if you want to talk, before. please chat with us. <laughs> this is Carlos Santana from the Hallway Zoom. Oh, is the Hallway Zoom watching us? If Wait, so, Carlos Santana's here? I guess so. Sweet. I feel I'm honored. Yeah, special. I like your champagne. <laughs> Are we thinking about a different Carlos Santana? It's a lo there's a Lonely Island song about. <laughs> don't worry about it, man. Okay, okay. It's so good. But anyway, I love you, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, more comments. More comments. <laughs> That's what we've got right now. Oh, okay. okay. That's what we got right watching? now because I don't think this has been. Are we like, just talking to ourselves? Very uh, much, yeah. Okay, fair. No, I mean you're all very important. You're audience. all very important yeah, and cool, we're, we're, and we're glad to have you. Um, the coolest. People but yeah, maybe we should be like, maybe we should. Are we allowed to stream ourselves taking the exams? No, like right now. Not. Definitely not, not like not like right now, <laughs> but like in general. Like ever. We can we can probably do like a stream afterward and be like, yeah. Ah. How did you, how did that make you feel? <laughs> I mean, usually like yeah, you kind of frown upon it's, it's sharing not, the exam online. Upon. Yeah, I mean when I when I got my ham radio certification, it was like. The testing was it was proctored even though I was doing it like yeah. um, remotely and it was super involved. They made me like spin the camera yep. around my room yep. and there were requirements about like what was allowed to be like I couldn't be On in a room desk. I couldn't be in a room yeah. with a bookshelf. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it was it was super it was super intense. And That's really something. intense, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I could not be in a room with a bookshelf. So it was like fortunately I uh, I live like a cave troll. So there's actually not a lot of art on the walls in my apartment, and there's literally none on the walls in my bedroom. So it was just like shove everything under the bed, uh, make my bed for the first time in I don't know maybe like five or six years. They they check <laughs> to make sure that you make your bed. Well, I didn't. Wanna, Did they check for the corners? I didn't yeah. want people to find out. I didn't want the the, the ham radio people to find out that I'm like, <laughs> the way I live. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you've There's seen slovenly nature. You, you've seen a ham shack that's been in yeah. operation for like yeah. 20 years, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. I would yeah, think having an unmade but, bed would would be something you have to do to get the certification. You're right. I should have yeah. looked sloppy. It depends so on what like class you're that. testing that's true, for. That's true. That's true. If you want extra class, the bed has to be right, sloppily unmade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the disarray. But is it that intense for the? It's not quite that intense, I okay. don't think. But they're 
there are like proctoring okay. requirements. Like you can't have things on your desk. You can't have things around you. You have to spin it around to show. Yeah, the, the spin around kind of is stuff. pretty common. Uh, yeah. And by the way, I took it in. Oh gosh, uh, 2018 or 2017. There like weren't practice tests really at that point. Mm. Uh, there's good practice tests and there now, are right? Great practice tests now. So if don't be in <laughs> super intimidated by it or anything, there's some great learning resources out there to help you prepare for the test these days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so good. Chat yeah. says that you're only uh, clean desk and you're only allowed to visit the Kubernetes docs and GitHub. Yes. So it's also testing to see if you're good at using the docs. Which I do think is an underrated skill. Yeah. It's very important. Uh, I have heard a tip of getting skeleton YAMLs out of kubectl get foo dash o YAML, yes. scrubbing out the parts you don't like, and then applying them back in to avoid mm. spending as much time clicking through the docs. Okay, is is it? A, it's a timed exam, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's also some some suggestions about like aliasing kubectl to k, mm. but I did that during my first exam, but I never do that normally <laughs> so when I'm using kubectl. So it made you yeah. Yeah. So it totally yeah. messed yeah. me up. <laughs> I don't I don't use aliases at all. Uh -huh. yeah, but really? I mean plus one actually. Uh, yeah, like yeah. I have some I have some cute ones yeah. that I don't Fine actually ones. use. Like I have uh, pseudo alias to please. Mm -hmm. yeah. So like I can type please and get pseudo, but I don't actually. Do it. Ever yeah. do that? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't. I don't alias anything, ever uh, yep. at all. Because frequently I'm doing like live demos and I'm teaching somebody something. Yeah. So I want to type out the full command. Yeah. Save. Using a cute like shorthand the thing. Doesn't the only one have that teach. I use regularly is I have CLS alias to C, because I clear my screen really fast a lot. That's but no just, one's you watching. You can just hit Command K. But yeah. That's two. Well, I guess C and enter is two. Yeah. You can just hit Command. I see a lot of people <laughs> typing clear. Like while they're but doing demos or giving talks or whatever, you can just hit Command K. Yeah. But maybe you can. I can. You know, one use of aliases that I really like, I guess during demos or like if I'm doing a bunch of back and forth kubectl operations like against two different clusters, is rather than like like a forever alias that lives in your dot files, just doing like a a real quick alias K dash foo, you know, kubectl dash dash context foo, and then in the other one, like alias k dash bar, kubectl dash dash context bar, in order to like do less, do, things, yeah. do, do less thrashing of contexts. So then you just be like, nope, in this window, we're this one, in this window, we're this one. And like, that is useful for that me. I don't useful. know if anybody else wants it, but I, I hope but, it's helpful to but somebody. But you put it out there. So. I've got, I've, I mean, yeah, I was I trying. I mean, TM Tabitha, if you use it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure, yeah. Yeah, follow Tabitha on Twitter if you use that <laughs> yeah. tip. We're farming for Twitter followers here. It's fair. Now. It's fair. Uh, actually, I should. We were trying to get Rich Burroughs over ten thousand today, but it didn't work. Oh, how how short was he? Like, he's like maybe eighty short. Should be oh. able to get. Oh my half. goodness, that's close. I didn't realize he was so close. Or maybe it's eight hundred. I don't know. I am probably supposed to say that you should follow us on Twitch. Who? Oh, uh, there's oh. like there's like, there's like a follow Cloud Native TV. There's like a follow button. Yeah. If you go to Cloud Native TV and you're well, I mean they're they're watching us on Twitch. Yeah. Exactly. So, so if you're watching and you haven't followed yet, yeah, you should push do the that, button. Though. There's also an option to turn on like notifications when we're live, but like maybe you not. should do that. But I personally don't do don't do that. It annoys the hell out of me. I do do that, but. I always don't notice the notification until way later. And yeah. I'm like, oh, CNCF TV is live now. I'll go check it out. And it was like two hours ago. Yeah. yeah. It's really only useful for like gamers that'll do like, you know, 10 hour streams yeah. or whatever. Like I can ignore a notification from like any of the gamers I follow on Twitch and you know, I, it, it seems like when you get that notification and you miss it, it at least serves as a prompt to go and like send somebody a DM on CNCF Slack, like, oh, hey, I missed your thing, but it was really good. Congrats to you, or whatever. Yeah, I mean, if you watch it later. When you, you, you shouldn't <laughs> lie. You shouldn't say well, it right if you <laughs> didn't watch it. <laughs> yeah. like, that, that would be rude. We, we owe honesty to <coughs> each other. But we love it when you watch the recordings, too. And they also go up on YouTube later. So. It, does they, like, automatically transfer or something? Uh, I think someone actually does it. I was going to say, I think that's... 
uh, automatically from Bill. Somebody in the chat oh, is yeah. saying bye for now. It's 3 a.m. in their location, oh. but that they had their first KubeCon talk today. Oh, oh congratulations. Whoa, massive congratulations. So proud of you. Fippy is proud of you. And mm -hmm. thank you for joining us at Silly in yeah, the Morning. That's, crazy. that's yeah. wow. Thank you. Yeah, yeah that's I, much appreciated. We, we, have, we like, applaud your strange life choices. Yeah, well, <laughs> we all do. Oh. Ridiculous things for technology. Would, does Cat want to come back on? Cat, what's up? Cat. Yeah, yeah up. shall we come switch? On. Yeah, we'll swap. I guess what? Oh, you no, <laughs> we'll we'll play Normal. musical musical cat musical Indians. headsets. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone. Hello everyone. I feel like I should have brought a stuffed animal. Like, yeah, I feel I feel I like I should have brought a stuffed animal. But, but here you are. <laughs> but here we are. Holding a gopher. <laughs> What are you gonna name the gopher? I I think it has a name in the books, but welcome it, back, is cat. Is it just Goldie? Yes, Goldie. Goldie, okay. Goldie's oh, wait, name, which always ask. bothers me because it's there blue. Well, it's like, not even always blue. I have a gopher -go plushie, blue, and mine's purple. This is specifically the one from the the okay. books, though. Goldie that gopher is, in. is also the mascot of the University of Minnesota football team, and therefore all of the Golang iconography is extremely confusing to everybody who goes oh. to the University of Minnesota. Oh. <laughs> That's or a, has ever gone to it. That's an interesting piece of trivia. Thank you. Today I learned. Yeah, you're just full of interesting trivia. With the, the impromptu uh, history of the seven of nine joke on your talk title. Wonderful. <laughs> no, like, actually, I, I, it's really, I, I, think that's a, I think that's a really good thing to put out there. Because, I don't know, these are silly bits of humor. But I don't want people to feel othered because they weren't in the right place. Yeah. Or, like, watching the right TV reruns. It's like, a good piece of I want lore. everybody to be able to laugh about it. It's, right. it's a good piece of lore. And it should be explained more frequently. Agreed. So, <laughs> welcome back, Kat. Thank you. How's well, it going, Ian? You know, it's good. I have a computer now, so... I can talk to the Twitch chat. Um, Ellen, you can fill out caps. Ellen is in there, and they're saying that we shouldn't be shaming Matt. So, why were we shaming? Who Matt? was shaming Matt, and for what? I don't remember. Uh, no, I agree. We shouldn't shame Matt. Yes. We shouldn't. We shouldn't shame Matt. We shouldn't be doing that. I think I gave <laughs> Matt the brain cell. That Matt we've is like, huh? Sharing. Matt doesn't even know what's going Alan, on. He's off screen confused right now. I, I know that I've said this to you privately, but like now I want to say it to you here in front of like the internet and everybody. Thank you so much. Like it was so much fun to work on that. And like, this wonderful. is so cute. As an attendee, it was also a lot of fun to watch. It was so a lot thank of thank you fun for putting in all the work on that. Yeah. Yeah. It, it came across really, really well. So uh, if you didn't catch Ellen and Tabitha's talk you should absolutely watch the recording of that uh, someone described it as a fever dream that's it i think that's platform. i think that's accurate yeah <laughs> yeah that's accurate that's I accurate missed it and i'm, I'm a little disappointed it. that i didn't get to go over metaphysical threats because <laughs> oh well that that's clearly the th the threequel right the threequel oh go. no let's go I mean, oh is no this, is this not a netflix series at this point KubeCon is over. Time to get ready for KubeCon. Oh, Yay. yo! Is the CFP open? Yeah, I was going to say, is the CFP open it's probably yet? Like tomorrow, it's right? probably right? very soon. Probably, yeah. So <laughs> make sure to submit a CFP for the next KubeCon because it's in Valencia. And it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. And the one after that is in Detroit, which I am so excited for. I love Detroit. I've never been to Detroit, but I would love an excuse. Detroit is so Agreed. cool, and I am so excited to be. Uh, High and mighty about it. Uh, so is Chris Short. Chris Short is very excited about it. I am it. so nice. excited about the Midwest representation. I don't think we've ever had a Midwestern Cube we've not, NA. We haven't. It's been coasties it's the whole been time. Coast the, oh, well, in Austin, which is sort of coasty. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I'm excited for, like, you know, the actual Midwest to, like, have a moment to shine. Because, you know, I have a lot of Midwest pride. So, <laughs> Yeah. Well, we've got, like, three minutes to go. Um, any parting words from y'all? I wanted to reiterate the appreciation for all of the folks watching online and who attended KubeCon virtually <laughs> this week. It's a lot, we know, and it's been very overwhelming to have so much virtual stuff going on and having to attend from wherever you are can be distracting and there can be all sorts of things going on in your life. But if you were able to spend some of it with us at KubeCon virtually, we really appreciate it and we hope that you learned something fun and new and uh, got something to take 
take back with you. <laughs> oh my gosh, the biggest plus one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to express ex appreciation too for the events team, um, all of the maintainers and contributors and program <laughs> committee members and track chairs and room moderators and all of the people who put in so much work to make this event happen. The staff of the building, the folks who were feeding us, like all of the people on the ground. The AV folks who took all oh, of yeah. my like so non-standard last minute requests. Yeah. Yeah. All the people who don't get shout outs all the time doing all of that work. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much Amazing. for Liter all of the work that you did. It literally could not have happened. Especially you. after the last couple of years yeah. and coming back and doing those types of jobs. Is Again, yeah, like the logistics <laughs> of making this whole thing work in a hybrid format are outrageous and the, the sheer quantity of support staff required to make it work Amazing. smoothly for both us on site and you online, it's, it's incredible. Like it's a Herculean effort and everybody did a great job. I'm just in awe, honestly. Every time I like did anything here at the conference, I was just in awe of yeah. the amount of planning that it had to have taken to get us all here. And, and with and kindness. Online. And, and with, with kindness, kindness for yes. each other. And shout out to the Kubernetes community for being amazing. I'm so proud to be a part of this community. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. It's the best, and so are you. Aww. Yeah. So true. Ian's always here. Sorry. Cat's always here to sparkle. <laughs> Duffy gave that me a sticker thing, earlier that says, you are hot and smart. That's and is I it sparkly? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It You're, is sparkly. That's That's been our, like, standard, like, gassing each other up compliment yeah. for uh, a bunch of people for a little yeah. while so like welcome to the crew hot yeah. and smart you're hot and smart Cassie. you're hot you? and smart Cassie. hot and smart hot and smart you, you're, you specifically you, you are hot, hot, and and smart. Smart. hot and smart so hot and smart <laughs> <laughs> anyway i guess that's it for us um thank you for tuning thank into you cloud native tv yeah thank you Bye. i'm kat cosgrove and i'm ian coldwater <laughs> i'll see you next kubecon bye <laughs>